Welcome back. Let's face it, we've got all these documents that we have to keep track of. There's paperwork that's difficult and very complicated, with health information, property records, investments. But if there was one place we could keep it all, and that place was secure, that would certainly help. And with me today, the CEO of Empire Software, Matthew Hoffman, who this company has a solution to this. And also, uh, CEO of Family Office Insights, Arthur Bavallis. Great to have you back. Okay, thank so, you. Thank you. So, Matthew, let's start with you. So, how did you come up with this idea for Empire Software, and what are you doing with it? Sure. Um, so, prior to founding Empire two years ago, we were essentially managing a high net worth family manually, kind of doing everything that Empire does. Uh, except essentially using Excel and filing cabinets and kind of everything was everywhere. Okay. Uh, and after doing that for about five years and kind of really, you know, cutting my teeth, essentially learning that, um, you know, obviously what blew my mind was, uh, you know, even if you have, say, 10 million AUM, 50 million into the billions, these families are essentially using Excel to manage their lives. Oh. Uh, and um, kind of sitting down one day, obviously, and and working through that process and obviously realizing we all have supercomputers in our pockets, there must be an easier way to s simply aggregate all of this information together uh, and solve a lot of pain points for that family and for us internally as well. Yeah, and save a lot of space too, I'm yeah. thinking. So Arthur, uh, he recently won one of your contests. So tell me about that and, and what made his company stand out. Yeah, there's, uh, we're, we're glad to, to have uh, Matthew and, and Empire Software as an inaugural winner of what we've created to capture a lot of um, entrepreneurs that don't otherwise qualify for the standard family office ins uh, insights construct, simply because there's just too many. Mm -hmm. And it turns out, it turns out, even though this was the inaugural attempt to do this, and it's definitely in the nascent stages, there's some really interesting companies that bubble to the top and won, including Empire. Mm -hmm. So it's it's proved out to not only um, make available the opportunity for for companies like Empire that want to meet family offices, not just in a business development, but an investment way um, to, to provide the family offices with a really credible opportunity or deal flow that they wouldn't otherwise have. Uh, Matthew, so you mentioned mobile. So this mm -hmm. is all, it could be on desktop, could be on mobile, and it's all cloud-based, right? Exactly. Okay. No software to download. It's all on your phone. It's all on the web. It's very easy to access. You can drill into any entity, find a document. I mean, we have families on board the system right now with 20,000 documents across all the trusts, all the insurance policies, artwork, uh, multiple houses, and they can find anything that they need from their phone, mm -hmm. from you know the web, uh, super easy. Yeah, and is it secure? Absolutely. How do you, how do you know for sure it's secure? Absolutely, so we have spent honestly more than half of our time on security. It's our number one task, essentially. Oh, yeah. um, it's the one thing that can sink the ship, and um, uh, it's something that we spend a lot of time on. So. Um, we're lucky, in fact, even that we started two years ago, essentially we're using cutting edge technology that is essentially just coming out today in terms of the highest levels of encryption. We're segregating client data on servers. Uh, everything is encrypted always at rest and in transmission, so it's essentially impossible to kind of hack into. Uh, and even when we go and do demos, and we're pitching large in institutions, large CPA firms, um, they obviously have very rigorous uh, security standards that we're exceeding, uh, but then we also go in and we show them how the systems that they're using currently are not secure. They might have servers in their office that are you know, uh, prone to being hacked or someone is posting passwords on their computer. Um, so we'll go in there, and that's uh, a big um, selling point for us. Now, Arthur, I know you've been kind of involved with the company. I mean, what kind of insider questions would you have for Matthew? This is not a new problem, meaning that mm -hmm. the uh, the the complexity of multiple tabs and lots of formulas with the proverbial squirrels in the back room on Excel spreadsheets has been um, trying to be solved in a variety of ways. And one of the pushbacks has been when a solution comes and it's proposed, incumbent thinking and incumbent process gets in the way. And so, for example, someone might have all these spreadsheets and it's working more or less and the software is free the person that runs it is $300,000. And up to this point, uh, just for example, and up to this point, it's been, okay, well, let's just stay with what we've got because this doesn't really solve the problem. And furthermore, the transfer from doing this to that has been so daunting that everybody just gives up. Mm -hmm. And so that's part of the solution here is going from this that kind of works most of the time and is good enough for many, uh, and starting not to be, and then how do you, 
m uh, migrate over to something, and that's part of the solution here. Yeah, I'm sure that's a process. Yeah, and in fact, you're completely right. And what we struggle with... Just is, once this week. No, <laughs> probably more than once. But um, what we struggle with as a family, it, it wasn't us, uh, in fact, even um, aiming to start a software company. It was just us looking for a piece of software to solve all of this. And like you said, unless we found something that completely embodied you know, the entirety of everything that we were doing in the family office. There are a lot of solutions out there that might do the accounting, that might do the investment reporting, but unless it's completely aggregated across the board, it falls flat. And this is even, if you look at the really zoomed out view, there's been robo-advisors kind of coming into hmm. uh, wealth management space in the last few years. We've kind of gone the opposite way and really teamed with the advisors and that we understand that the human element of managing investments, managing clients, you know, it, it needs to be there. It can't be a purely software-driven approach. Great. Thank you, Arthur and Matthew, for coming. Thank, thank you. you and thank you as well. We will be right back.